the Infotrain Eon Store GS Family product is a unified storage system that integrates file level, block level, and cloud gateway into one single system. This video will guide you on how to run all the necessary hardware installation for the Eon Store GS. Let's take a look at preparations before we open the box. Please make sure the installation site has network and a power supply. Management ports and host channels require enough usable IP addresses and the GS1316R we are demonstrating needs a 3U rack space. We also suggest a second person to assist you with moving the device as it is quite heavy. Please have at hand a box knife, screwdriver, two RJ45 network cables for Mandarin ports, and two iSCSI or FC cables for host channels. Let us open the shipping box with the box knife. After opening the shipping box, you will see the unpacking list. The unpacking list will list all the items in the box and their placement so that we can check the contents. On top is a styrofoam to protect the products from damage. Remove the styrofoam and you can see the tray for the hard drives. For example, the GS3016 model includes 16 3.5 inch trays. Next we will see two rack mounts. Left and right will be indicated on the rack mount. Next, you will see the accessory box and power cord box. The power cord box includes two power cords. The accessory box includes RS-232, screws, installation disc, and installation guide of Eon 1 and product. Next in the box is our Eon Store GS system. We suggest the second person to help you take it out. Please confirm the desired installation position for the Eon Store GS before installing the rack mount. Here we will use 11U to 13U. Please refer to the quick installation guide and install cage nuts at the appropriate positions. Let's start from rack mount installation. Please pull the slide rail kit to an appropriate length. Horizontally place the rack mount front in line with the bottom of 11U. Adjust the rack mount length again in line with the bottom of 11U, then fix the latches. Fix both sides with screws. Rack mount inner glides of the slide rail kit need to be installed on the two sides of the enclosure chassis. Place the device on the installed rack mount, then slide the bottom of the device to the position in line with screw holes on the rack and fix with screws. To install hard drives, place the hard drive in line with the front of the tray, then fix the four corners with screws. For 2.5 inch hard drives, please line the drive with notches in the front, then fix the four screws on the bottom. Insert trays with hard drives into the enclosure chassis. Push them to the end, then fix with latch. To take out the hard drives, simply press the button on the tray. Infotrain offers modular design host boards. Host channel types can be easily changed by lightly pressing the latch next to the controller and inserting or pulling out the host board. 
then fix with the included screws. After the memory and host boards on the controller are installed, insert the controller into the enclosure chassis and push to the end. Then fix with latch and screws. At the rear of the Eon Store GS, two power supply modules with power socket and switch are located on both sides. Controllers A and B are sandwiched in the middle in slot A and slot B with one management port apiece and various host ports. First, we will connect the management port for controller A. In case management for controller A fails, let's connect the management port for controller B as well. Next, we will connect onboard host ports for the Eon Store GS. In this demonstration, we will use channel 0 on the onboard 10G Ethernet port. For redundancy purposes, connect the corresponding ports for controller B as well. For this demonstration, we have chosen the fiber channel host board. Insert the SFP of fiber channel, then insert the fiber channel cables. For redundancy purposes, Connect the corresponding ports for controller B as well. Now we will connect the power. Plug the power cables into power sockets on both sides and the power LED should start to blink with a green light. Simultaneously turn on the power switch on both sides. The power LED should show steady green light to indicate normal power supply. Trays with hard drives would have their indication lights turned on in the front of the Eon Store GS. There are four indication lights on the left. The machine is operating normally when they are steady green. You can check what these LED lights mean in the quick installation guide. Now, we need to confirm the hosts using Eon1 and the Eon Store GS you want to manage are in the same network. Enter the default IP address 10.10.1.1 in your browser to access the login page. The default account and password are admin admin. Now you can start managing the Eon Store GS with Eon1.